um, holding an actual silk cocoon. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, that's me holding a silk cocoon. And this material actually delivers on its promise ex uh, compared to Elizabeth Holmes' blood vial and all the marketing around it. So um, enough of digging to uh, Elizabeth Holmes and her past. Uh, so after PhD, I'm actually in my third year right now, feeling stressed, I don't have a life, I'm sleep deprived, um, and even though I'm smiling, I'm dying inside. Um, <laughs> And I don't read books anymore. I have halfway read journal articles, and I have a million tabs open in my Chrome, and I don't want to close any of it because I don't know, what if I might need them, you know? <laughs> what if uh, my supervisor asks a question and the answer is in one of those tabs? So I don't want to close any of it. Anyways, moving back to the science of it. So um, next I want to talk to you about silk. And yes, my sari is made out of silk. So is probably the fancy pair of pyjamas you own, or the silky smooth pillowcase some influencer tricked you into buying because they told you that it's not going to give you wrinkles. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, so <laughs> silk actually comes from different insects uh, and worms and different organisms. But the silk that I use in my research and the silk that is probably in the silky pillowcase you own or the fancy pair of pyjamas you own probably comes from these guys. Uh, <laughs> that is a silkworm, guys. So uh, that is called Bombyx mori. That is not a uh, spell from Harry Potter. It's actually the scientific name of that little guy over there. And um, I came to Australia to two years ago from Sri Lanka, and I know you Australians like to shorten your words, so how about we call it BOMOS, okay? <laughs> We're gonna call it BOMOS, okay. So um, a little side story before I get into the science stuff of it. Um, I was making some slides uh, that required me to be creative, and I 